this is what's going to tell you who you are because they're going to you're going to relate to the fact that these happen to your people right these things perpetually happen to a majority of the people who look like you uh read verse 32. deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32 thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long and there shall be no might in thine hand so let me ask you bro you seen that movie 12 years a slave you seen that movie when they took our kids on the slave plantation when the slave master came to a slave's house or when they saw a son and he decided to sell him he could make some money was there anything we could do about it didn't that happen to our people when our children sold Look at these pictures, bro. Come over here and look at these pictures. Look, look at the bottom of that picture. What's going on right here? That's slavery, right? That man is being sold. That man probably has a wife. He has a child. But the Bible says he will have no might in his hand to do anything about it. They could take you from your mother and your father. And when the, when the slave master had an opportunity to make some money, he didn't like the way you acted. Maybe you were a little rebellious. Maybe you had a spirit on you to raise up your people. He'd sell you off and get rid of you. And there was nothing you could do about it. Teacher. Who did that happen to? Teacher. That happened to us. But, the, but that's in the Bible. This is thousands of years before that actually happened. This was written by Moses. Y'all know who Moses is? Y'all know Moses was a black man. So this happened thousands of years. We're going to keep reading. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. The Bible says you be given to our, our children will be given to another people. Who who sold us? When our children were sold, what people bought them? White people. What people what people sold them? White people. White people. Plantation owners. They owned the plantation. They owned the ships that brought our people here, right? And the Bible said for breaking his commandments, he was going to allow that to happen. Let's go to uh, verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst. The Bible said in hunger and in thirst we will serve our enemies. Because white people aren't the only enemies we got, right? Who owns that store? Arab man owns that store, right? Now... All of these black people, we know uh, you got you got the projects up, up the street. Every project's got a little store in it. Did any of our people own it? Any black people own those stores? Yeah. They work in there. Do they own it? Is it there? Do they own it? They, they don't own it. They work. We, they'll let us. They'll let some of us work in there. But we don't own that store. We don't. We don't control what goes in there. We don't control when it opens. We don't control when it closes. Right? We don't own that store. Right? We said we would go, but God said that those people are our enemies. Read what you got. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. The Bible says in hunger and in thirst. So if you want something to eat, when you go to these stores, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to Walmart, do black people own Walmart? Food Lion, Safeway. We don't own any of these stores, but the Bible says that when we want to eat, we have to go to those stores, but we don't own them. The Bible calls the people that do own them our enemies, right? Read. And in nakedness, and in want of all things. The Bible says in nakedness, your clothes. Now we go to stores, they put names like Sean John, right? They put names uh, like Rockaware. You see black true religion, right? You see black people who are the face of these products, but they don't, do they control the materials that it takes to make them? They don't control the materials that, do they go imports and exports? Can they bring a lot of fabric from another country over here on the ship? Can they bring that over here? Do they own where these textiles are picked? Do they own any cotton fields? Right? So we have to go to them to get clothes. They will allow some of us to put a name on it to get you in the store. To buy it to for you to associate with it but the riches that are made from that do not enrich our nation right they'll allow him to get money they'll allow him to shine we just wear nice clothes but when we go home what do we come back to 
fight our way in here, we fight our way out, right? We, we come back to the same neighbor, broken neighborhood that we live in, right? Read what you got. And in want of all things. The Bible says in want of all things, right? The schools we go to, we got some black teachers, right? Black principals. But do they decide what you teach? Do they decide what the teachers teach you? You ever heard of critical race theory? Let me ask you this question. You in school right now? What grade you in? 11th grade. Ninth grade, okay. Tell me about slavery. What do you, what do you know about slavery? Do they teach y'all slavery in school? What do they teach y'all? Slavery teaches how, how they got on the boats, how they stuck on the boats. Right, right. Right. What do they teach y'all about the people who did it? Who did it? Who, who, what, what, what do they teach y'all about the people who would go to another country? What do they say about those people who would, who, who would stuff men and women on the and, and And we need to think. Where, where, where's the picture of the slave ships? Let me get over here, bro. Look at the bottom of this, bro. Look, look right here on that ship. These were regular cargo ships, right? These were cargo ships. When they implemented slavery, they refitted these ships from moving product to moving people as product. That means that a man would be stacked on top of another man, would be stacked on top of another woman, would be stacked on top of, so when these men had to urinate, what do you think that urine went? You think they could raise their hand and they had a restroom for them to go to? The, the trip would take months. When they had to defecate, what do you think they would fall? These men were naked. If a woman got went on her menstrual cycle, what do you think that blood went? Right, so when they're teaching you slavery, what are they telling you about the people who would do something like that? Do they even do they even talk about the type of man or woman it would take to do something like that? Because God says that you're enemies. Do they teach you that these people are your enemies? And I'm glad you do, bro. You're in the right frame of mind, but the te the, the, the teacher tell you that these people are your enemies. All of you black kids in my classroom, the people who would do this, this is what an enemy would do to us. This is what an enemy would do to a slave. Do they, do they put that into your mind? Bring it up. They're not gonna do that, right? right. But God said to your enemies. Right. God said that these people hate you. Bring it up. That's right? right. And I'm not telling you that for you to do something to them, but I'm telling you that to open your mind to what the Bible says, because the Bible, because what you need to know is the Bible is a real book. Right. We're reading history that you can point to and that you're being taught in school, right? Right. Let, let's go. Let's uh. Let's let's go to verse. Let's go to verse 68. Right. We're talking about the ship. We're gonna we're gonna go to verse 68. We were just talking about slave ships. Do you know slave ships was in the Bible? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Bible, when the Bible says Egypt, Egypt, you, you heard about Moses? How he gathered all the God's people and took them out. What were they doing in Egypt? They were slaves, just like we are now. They were slaves, all right? The Bible's going to explain it. Listen, listen to this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of of bondage. So Egypt, the word Egypt means house of bondage. Let's get straight to the meat. We're going to go to verse 68 again. Read that from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. The Bible said that God was going to bring you into Egypt or slavery again. They had just got out of Egypt. The Bible says Moses told the people, God going to take you right back. You just got out of jail. But God's going to take you right back if you don't do his commandments. And he's going to take you there with ships. When they left, they walked through the Red Sea, correct? So he wasn't talking about the Egypt in Africa. He was talking about what the Bible calls spiritual Egypt right here. That's why you got a pyramid on the back of your dollar. That's why they got the all-seeing eye on the back of your dollar. That's why they got obelisk in, in every, almost every state. They got them in Washington, D.C. That's why these symbols are here. For you, so that God's people, when his prophets came back into the earth, they could point these things out so you would know who you are. The word African-American is made up. That's the name of two white men. 
When you call yourself an African American, you basically call yourself a slave. Because you're taking on the name of two white men. And you couldn't come, first of all, you couldn't come from two men, right? Right. So, the, uh, the, the, the term black, that's just a color in a crayon box. There's no such thing as a black man. There's no such thing as a black woman. Uh, get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So, according to the Bible, you are an Israelite because your history matches the, the, the prophecy in the Bible. But this is what God says about you. Regardless of the condition we're in now, this is what God says about you, us, about his people. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We read in Deuteronomy 28 and 1 that if we listen to the commandments, God was going to place us above all people. Why? Because he chose us. We were a special people above all people upon the face of the earth, but we broke his commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.